right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, we have a fun afternoon, evening uh, planned for all of you. We want to make sure we um, spend a little bit of time here kind of getting ready for what is to come for September. So this is a little bit of a pre-prep meeting. You guys are getting a special insight on some incredible work that our uh, fellow alumna, uh, Colleen Angelis, has been working on with Alex Pentland diligently here and uh, the rest of the team that we're gonna get you introduced to from Studio B. So this is a very exciting moment for all of us. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Many of you remember the assessment that we committed to sharing with you globally uh, to capture Starbucks alumni, their point of view on well-being. How are they feeling and how are they looking across seven domains of their lives? And guess what? Tons and tons of data and tons of insight came from that. And that is fueling and feeding our focus for the next uh, year plus to come. So we, we went out and got some great insights and got some great information. And now we're here to uh, share some of that with you and share how it's going to actually move us forward. So again, uh, I want to make sure you guys have a chance to hear from the subject matter experts. We are recording this call. We will edit it. And then we'll make sure that even more detail comes out in the next couple of days for you. But with that being said, we have some incredible results focused on our well being, happiness, and satisfaction. We're, we've said that we need a little bit of help with that, but we need a little more satisfaction in our lives. Mental health, we're, set, we're searching for a sense of peace. Uh, physical health, who could not use more exercise? I know I've been dragging myself out of bed in the wee hours trying to get more in, but we could all use a little bit more. Meaning and purpose, we're very focused on making important contributions. And this is something that we've said as a community, as a group, this is something we want to focus more on. Amount of contact with friends under close social relationships. I can't imagine a group more tuned in and focused on close social contact and we have been struggling because it's not been happening and so we've got some ideas on how to maybe fix some of that and then of course saving for unexpected expenses we've many of us in our community have said this was very important for us and we're not doing a great job so what can we do to maybe support that so um, this research was sponsored by Harvard University and in conjunction with the research that comes from that body of work, we've been able to partner with a fantastic group called Studio B, and we are very privileged to have them join us tonight. And most importantly, to share their incredible resources with us all, just because we're Starbucks alumni. So thank you. And I'm gonna kick it over to our dear friend, Colleen, to take it from here. So please let us go. Thanks, Marie. Hi, Thank everyone. You. I feel like I know almost all of you. Um, so fun. Hello, Daryl. Hello. I don't know if we, hello. Um, and Robin, I don't know if I know, but I think everyone else I do. So hi, friends. Um, okay. So um, on behalf of the Wellness Steering Committee and this amazing, uh, these amazing alumni humans, I'm really excited to kick off and unveil our 30 day alumni wellbeing challenge. Um, this was created by alumni for alumni with a little help from our friends at Studio B. So um, excited about this. September 6th through October 5th, um, as we all step into September, back to school, back to self, really setting this up um, for us to kind of go on a little journey together. Um, I'm going to share with you what this is, and then we'll hear from Studio B, and then we'll just go into some Q&A and connection time. So while we're going through this, please feel free to put any thoughts, questions in the chat, um, and then we'll also bubble them up. Again, this was created for you, knowing what we learned from Flourishing. So hopefully this reflects um, what you're looking for and needing. So with that, um, Marie, would you mind going to full screen, maybe like slideshow? I will. Yes, I maybe will. And I want to point. apologize, but I lose all of you guys when I do that. So I'm oh, going to do it worry. and you guys no, no. will just have to figure out. Don't, <laughs> don't worry. Um, all right, okay. here we go. 
So knowing what we know, um, if everyone, if you want, maybe kind of sit back, you can close your eyes for a moment, but what if I told you um, I knew of a fun and free opportunity designed exclusively for you and your well-being, time for, to prioritize your physical health, mental health, and your happiness. And this magical experience, I'm channeling Alex Pentland, um, is being led by a curated team of really cool people um, across yoga, fitness, mindfulness, nutrition, sleep, neuroscience, and coaching. Um, and what you'll get out of it includes, but is not limited to for our lawyer friends. So that was one of my favorites, our lawyers at Starbucks, but included is new healthy habits, human connection, meaning and purpose, and breakthroughs in your life, small and big. For, so for some of you, that might be losing a pound through our physical fitness and our movement. It might be a little bit less stress through some of our mindfulness that we're going to talk about. It might be reconnecting with someone. And I'm, I'm so happy always seeing um, all these faces. Um, or it might just be fun. So one thing I will promise is fun along the way. Um, or maybe it's you pushing yourself to your edge to discover who you are on that other side of the 30 days. Because um, always we won't know who we are until we push ourselves to those limits. So if I said this was what we were creating, um, would you say yes to it? And that's okay, yeah. Daryl's saying yeah, okay, good. Thanks team, 100%, thanks Liz. Um, because that's what we're creating. And so I'm super excited um, for us to jump into what does this look like now? But before we do, um, on the next slide, please, Marie. I thought we could, yeah, sorry. I thought we could take a quick moment to pause in the present um, and gaze at this gorgeous sunrise. So maybe if everyone um, sits up straight, feet flat on the ground, just work with me on this one, spine and neck long, relax your shoulders, maybe roll them a little bit, uh, relax your jaw. Your eyes can close or stay gazing at the sun and just pause and take a deep, slow, long breath in. Pause at the top and let it out. You need another breath, please take it. Hopefully it feels good to pause in the present and just to clear space in your mind, if even for a few seconds. And what we do know about sun gazing is that it is very healing and it helps to calm your nervous system. And this moment, just like this challenge, are really about you. So I know that was fast, but just a little exercise. How many people like sunrises, sunsets? Raise your hand. Okay, everyone except for Daryl. Okay, good, good, good. Because <laughs> the big first message I want to land with you is that this challenge is gonna be at 7 a.m. Pacific time. <laughs> so um, what does that mean? We're not meeting every day, we're meeting select days, which I'm gonna go over with you, but let's just share why seven in the morning. First, productivity. We know that the morning is the most productive time for most people. Second, families. We're really mindful of families and getting the kids to school, but also creating that morning time for you before you start your day. Um, third, we have a global network, as you all know. So partners or alumni, um, as I think I told most of you, my AirPod was going to die. I had this feeling. Uh, uh, so we're going to be targeting a, a global time zones. Mindset. Our morning movement will give you that endorphin to boost uh, your mindset, mood, and energy for the day. Plus, you know, in that morning time, I don't know about most of you, if I don't work out in the morning, Sometimes I just don't do it later. So we're going to jumpstart our day together. Um, and lastly, discipline and consistency. You know, I think we all know this, but there's this difference between knowing it and actually practicing it. And I'm, I can say I'm also the worst at this, um, that without discipline, there's not consistency. And this will be a catalyst to our transformation during these 30 days together. So with that said, I'll walk you through week by week what the themes are. Um, high level, we're gonna have plenty of time to absorb it, but what I'm looking for today is not that you feel bombarded with information. Don't worry about taking notes, you're gonna get all of this. Um, 
soak it in, see how it feels, see what resonates with you. When we're sharing some of the themes, like maybe jot down in the chat or on your notepad, yeah, that makes sense to me. Yes, I need more of that. And we'll be able to, uh, to tap into what you want and what you need on the inside, not the analytical part of how do you schedule this? Because in the end, if you feel like this is something you need, you'll gravitate toward those pieces. So week one, okay, really excited. Um, this is for you if your mind and body need a reset. Oh, excellent. Oh, good, hello. Uh, okay, so what week one is, wellness week. This is the ultimate reset. Oh. Can you guys hear me still? Yeah, can we have yes. everybody go on mute, please? I think that was Steve. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve. Hi there. <laughs> I, I knew it was you. I'm going to put <laughs> you on. I know. So we, this is so fun. Steve, I'm going to put you on mute for just a hot second while I go through the week. But then when we come alive on the Q&A, can't wait to hear from you. Right on. Right on. Okay. Wellness week. This is the ultimate reset for your mind body connection. We're going to cultivate new habits and discipline, like waking up at 7 a.m. together, doing our movement right away, um, but also our mindset. And we're going to do this through some yoga and meditation at home. Uh, this is all levels for everybody. And one thing I really want to call out is um, for those of you who love yoga, you're going to love it because Miss Karen Soul will also be one of our teachers, woo, woo. Um, as well as Jofi, who you're going to meet from Studio B. But really, this is an opportunity for us to just have some fun together. If you've never tried yoga, don't worry. This is an entry point. And again, a big part of the beauty is that we're going to be doing it together. Um, week two, nutrition week. Okay. Um, super excited. We're going to have our, another uh, alum, Katie Thompson, teaching with us this week. Um, and this week is all about expert nutritional coaching to fuel your mental health, physical health, and happiness, plus a live co uh, cooking class during our Wednesday workshop. And that is an important call out. Every Monday, you'll see kind of around the, the first day of the week, there's like rays of light around it. That's where we're going to set the inspiration for the week. And then on Wednesdays, we're gonna get hands on and do fun workshops. So it's it's really giving you a combination of movement and set the intention, movement, and then hands on um, to just build some fun. Okay, week three, coaching week. We're gonna pull that in now that we've kind of started to crack you open and we're gonna offer life business mindfulness coaching to support your purpose, vision, and goals including live sessions and breakouts during our um, Wednesday workshop. So we have a wealth of experts like Sylvia here on the call. Um, we're going to tackle business coaching, life coaching, how to optimize, plus fitness and nutrition plans. So you'll choose the lane you want, um, and we'll give you the amazing alum and experts to support you on your goals. Week four, Fusion Week. Uh, this will be another really fun week. During this week, we will come back and be together all week long. As you notice, the other two weeks, we are two days a week, and we're going to give you a planner to support you along the way. Um, but Fusion Week, will come back together. Fusion Week is going to be so fun. We're going to shake off old energy, make space for new energy. Um, we have some really cool experiences for you that you may not tap into on your own. Um, but this is where repetitive habits determine our behaviors, right? So which shapes our identities. And this week is dedicated to the integration of all that you're learning and opening up within yourselves, your energy and your embodiment. And again, I know I mentioned it before, but it's so different. How many of us are like, yeah, I know I should eat healthy. Yeah, I know I should work out. Yeah. So it's not our intellectual capacity that we're talking about. It's how do we integrate it now and embody it. And one of the key things we're going to focus on is less is more. If you change one habit during this 30 days, that's the ripple that will start helping you with the next habit. So don't worry, you're not tackling 10 things at once. We're just giving you this like beautiful, like ray of options for you to also navigate the path that you want. And then week five, 
This is going to be our breakthrough week. So gosh, another really special week for you. I hope you can make this too. I hope you can make every day that we have scheduled for you. Um, and I understand that uh, that's not always possible. And breakthrough week will be time for you to actualize your fullest potential. So together we'll connect, reflect, and celebrate. And again, remember, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And so we'd love to see everyone here because we have some fun things planned that will really help you um, feel like you accomplished something great, not for us, but for yourself. And then gratitude. So overall, that's my quick overview. Um, we're in this together. I'll be your guide along the way. And I'm so honored um, to, to play that role. Thank you all. Um, I am personally looking forward to this because I don't know about anyone else. It's been really a crazy time. Like there's lots happening. I feel like I'm back at hyperspeed of work and I'm like kind of out of my own rhythm. And so I am going to cherish this time to use to reset for myself. Um, and I hope you are too. So in the spirit of gratitude, thank you for listening. Thank you in advance for signing up and thank you to our partner studio B who I'd love to introduce to you now. Um, I'll pass it to this powerhouse team. Uh, Jen will share who they are, um, what you will find, the types of content and resources you'll find on their platform. And uh, Gretchen will share how to sign up and access it. So without further ado, Jen. Thank you very much, Colleen. And thank you to Marie and Alex for all of the fun that we've had in planning this uh, special event. Uh, thank you to the Starbucks alum community. We're so excited to be hosting uh, the Green Apron Alliance over the next five weeks. So without further ado, I just wanted to take a moment uh, to introduce myself and the team and talk a little bit about what we do and why we do it. Uh, my name is Jennifer Siramboli and I am the founder and CEO of Studio B. Uh, I've been practicing yoga and mindfulness for 25 years. I've been teaching yoga and mindfulness for 15. Um, and prior to teaching full-time, I worked in technology sales, where I myself experienced burnout, uh, which resulted in a lot of anxiety. Um, and I left my very successful job <laughs> and became a yoga teacher and changed my life. Uh, after I integrated that experience, um, I started feeling really um, more and more clear about my work in the world and making sure that expert resources uh, were accessible to all people. And I really felt that the way to do that was through supporting companies, teams, and organizations, both for-profit and nonprofit, so that people in the workplace um, could gather together in community and take care of themselves and each other in healthier ways. Uh, we really know, we know, we know after the last couple of years how much people are suffering. Um, I'm sure that each of us here has a story um, and has been impacted by the mental health crisis, either they themselves feeling overwhelmed, and discomfort in the body, heart, or mind, or supporting a friend or um, family member that has, has dealt with significant suffering. Um, so we, we are, our mission on the planet at Studio B is to develop awareness uh, to this suffering and support people with resources that matter and make an impact. We do that by delivering content um, both live and on demand on our platform for companies and organizations and team in a private and secure environment. So we'll get to that in a moment. But we focus on five main domains of well being because we know that the whole person shows up every day into their work in the world, uh, whether that's in their career or volunteering or something else, whatever that looks like for you. Uh, but you're showing up with all of your joy and all of your sorrow. Um, so we develop this content with highly vetted experts in the fields of mindfulness, neuroscience, communication, psychology, um, embodied movement practices, and you'll get to uh, really uh, interact with these resources through the Studio B platform. 
So I'd like to now turn this over to my colleague, uh, Jyothi Baini. Uh, Jyothi and I have been working together for many years and you'll enjoy uh, what she has to say here. So Jyothi mm -hmm. is our content and curriculum specialist at Studio B and a longtime teacher and practitioner of both mindfulness and yoga. Jyothi. Thanks so much, Jen. Um, I just wanna name as well, in addition to that introduction, I really come to this work from a lens of active recovery as well. I'm a 12 stepper and I really believe that most of us are healing from something. And this work has done nothing short of radicalize my life. Um, so I'm really, really blessed that this is what I get to wake up and do every day. <laughs> and you'll be seeing more of me with doing some of the yoga and meditation sessions. But when it comes to Studio B, when we talk about, okay, like what is Studio B? What does it mean to show up and offer the Studio B solution? We really think of these three words, soothe, manage, and connect. Soothe, if you think of that, those five realms of well-being, is really that like soothing the aches and pains of everyday life. Like your back hurts, you've got text neck, like your, you know, your hips are hurting from sitting all day. We really believe at Studio B that all bodies are good bodies and all bodies are capable and wonderful. And we have practices that are really accessible and will meet you where you are to help deliver that soothing practice. When it comes to managing, we can't eliminate stress. None of us can. It's a normal part of being human. If you're human, you're gonna be stressed out. You're gonna experience things that can be overwhelming, but we can get more skillful. We can develop the ability to respond as opposed to react. And so one of the things that we really specialize in and have incredible teachers that show up and offer practices in is resources and skills that help you learn how to manage things that contribute to the root causes of chronic stress. So, and then the last piece I think is kind of where my heart really goes, especially coming out of the pandemic. So many of us are still experiencing loneliness. We're carrying heaviness of both individual and collective grief. And we're lacking this feeling of connectivity, whether it's within our family units and our interpersonal relationships or our workplaces, or just within our communities. So we really work to create environments where we can connect. We're going to get to do that for 30 whole days. So I'm super excited about that. But connection is where we heal because we're ultimately, when we take care of ourselves, we can take care of a whole community. We learn how to be well together. Jen, you can go to the next slide. All right. We talk, Great. no, it's totally fine. One of the things we talk about as well, um, I love the word delight, so I'm going to bring it in here, is I like to sometimes say that I disrupt delightfully. And some of the things that I like to disrupt delightfully are exhaustion as a status symbol. And at Studio B, we really prioritize and normalize physical rest, taking workday breaks, disrupting the idea that mental health is taboo. And in, this is where all those compassion practices come in. Toxic positivity, like I'm all for joy and delight and happiness, but also some things are hard and it's okay to talk about what's hard. And a lot of times the solutions to gaining that resilience that we need are in recognizing the hard with honesty. Do it all culture. How many of us showed up and we were juggling five tasks like before we even entered this meeting? And one of the things we really try to work on at Studio B is concentration is care, like looking at your faces in these rectangles right now and giving you my whole body full attention is an expression of care. And then the last is going back to that loneliness piece, like we get well by being well together. This doesn't happen in isolation. We do it in community with each other. You can go to the last, the next slide, Jen. And then I don't want to spend too much time here, but I find this so powerful. You may have heard about this concept. It comes from Dan Siegel, who is an incredible um, worker in the field of mindfulness. He uh, coined this term window of, mind, uh, window of tolerance. So I really want to name that. But when you're in your window of tolerance, it's where you can really show up with both your heart and your head. Your, your, your reason is online, but also like your compassion and that inner sense of balance is plugged in. 
but we often are either above or below our window of tolerance. And the skills that Studio B really comes and brings to the table are skills that can help us when we're in that state of hyper arousal, we've sort of disconnected, maybe we're anxious, we're super stressed, we're overactive, we don't have that clarity, we can help teach you, work with you, provide resources to come back and maybe even widen that window of tolerance. And same thing when you're below the bar, when you just can't get out of bed, you're lethargic, you're tired, you're disconnected, you've unplugged, you just wanna pull the covers over your head and bury your head in the sand. There are other practices that can help you come back, feel connected again, be a part of community. So we'll talk about all this stuff more over the next month, but this is, we are so, so happy that you are here. I'm gonna pass it to my colleague Gretchen where she gets the pleasure of showing us where you get to kind of live and be with us for the next month, which is the platform of Studio B. Thank you, Jyothi, and thank you to everyone, and of course, Green Apron Alliance for hosting this tonight. Uh, my name is Gretchen Wallace, and I am in business development. And what I want to do tonight is just show you a glimpse of the, um, the solutions of Studio B that you'll be able to access once you sign up. So we're opening up access uh, to the page uh, starting tonight, and so you can get a preview between now and September 6th. So let me... Um, Jen, I'm going to ask you to stop share. There we go. Yep. Wonderful. So once you get your login, uh, the first time you come in, uh, you'll know where you are. You'll see your logo, the Green Apron Alliance up in the top left hand corner. Uh, and what you're seeing here are some banners moving across. What we're doing with our banners is calling attention to some content that I'll get into in just a minute. But really what I want to drive home here for you is what, what we're trying to do at Studio B is give you the best of both worlds. We're giving you the ease of a digital solution meaning that if you're new to meditation or mindfulness or yoga, you can do this from your house. You can tuck away into a corner or a small quiet space and practice. You don't, it, it, you don't have to go outside of your house to a studio. And we're also giving you the connection of live support. I'm gonna show you our live class calendar and how to access um, the calendar of events that they've put together for you, but also how to access some of the other resources that Studio B has to offer. Because again, once you sign up um, through the link that we're gonna to provide tonight, you'll be able to get in there and um, navigate around and click around and, and, and see some things um, that might be of interest to you. So again, when you come in and you're looking at um, the banners here, if you click take me there, it's gonna take you right into the playlist. Um, in addition to the playlist, I wanna show you our live class calendar because this is how you're going to be accessing all these practices that Colleen has put together for you. So as you see right now in today's class, today's um, class is coming up for us, the 30 day alumni well-being. Um, and I am on the East Coast, so it's showing up at 7 p.m. But when you come into your Studio B account, you'll have the ability to set your time zone. And that's pretty important because once you set your time zone, our live class calendar will adjust to whatever time zone you're in. So when Colleen logs in, she's gonna see this class is starting at 4 p.m. today. Um, so when I click into all live classes, it's going to bring us to a three-day view of what Studio B has to offer. Well, uh, we are a global community, so we serve people around the world. Um, but, at, but what you see here is that we have uh, meditations and movement practices on our calendar, both morning and evening. And again, based on where you are and based on your time zone, these are automatically going to adjust to you. Uh, but I wanna show how easy it is to add this into your calendar. Um, so when you get in there, if you wanted to add this to your personal or work calendar, uh, it syncs right up with my work calendar. You choose which calendar you wanna sync it up with. I'm on Google um, and it's gonna pull that up in a moment here. And once I save it, it's saved right to my calendar. So that way, when you go in that day, uh, you'll be able to just click right in the calendar invite, click through the links, and you'll be placed right into the live event. 
Um, so I would encourage you to get in here and kind of look around and see if any of our offerings work in with your schedule right now. But what I really want to do is kind of fast forward to September 6th and show you that you can do the same. Once you've logged in, you can fast forward yourself through this three-day view. This is really making summer fly by. And here we are at September 6th. So what you can see is the 7 a.m. Uh, star time on West Coast is translating to 10 a.m. for me. So what I can do here is go in and add this to the calendar. And don't worry if um, you're not absorbing all of this right now. We've recorded a tutorial. So you can go into the page and take a look at that and figure it out. And of course, if you have any questions, uh, we're here to support you with that. So in addition to the live class calendar, uh, you also have some playlists here that we've curated especially for you. Uh, the Get Started Here playlist is going to give you a tutorial on how to use the page. Again, uh, you don't need to take notes for what I'm go going over today. You can click in there, take seven minutes just to kind of give yourself a refresh on how to use the page. In the Get Started Here playlist, we're trying to give you an overview of some of the content that Studio B provides using the arrow on the right here will get you to scroll to the right. What you'll notice in our playlist is that everything is labeled um, with a name and, and also time stamped. So really in as little as two minutes, you can come in and uh, tune into a practice connecting to body and breath. We really aim to make this manageable. Um, so that way, if you're feeling like you need to just take a two or three minute break, you can come in here, click around and find something. Um, so scrolling back up to the top, again, another one I wanna highlight is get up and move. So if you look through here, scrolling to the right, what you'll be able to see is that there are several options in here within these playlists. So we have our playlist, we have our live class calendar, and we have your team here. Um, so again, you can go in and just learn a little bit more about Jothi, what her background is, and see that she has um, this beautiful container full of on-demand um, content. So again, go in there when you have a few minutes and just poke around and see kind of what, um, what you relate to. What we try to do at Studio B is offer multiple um, types of mindfulness-based practices, whether it be movement, meditation, mindfulness, or using sound, knowing that some people are really going to adhere and like uh, one practice. So we want to give you multiple options to come in, knowing that it's not a one-size-fits-all and that some people are going to like one version, some people like a more strenuous yoga practice, some people just want a more mellow flow. Um, and then, of course, we see Colleen has a profile here, as well as Karen. So you can click through here and see some of the practices that they've chose to showcase within there. And like I mentioned before, we put a few tutorials on this page for you. So again, if you don't remember how to use our Add to Calendar feature, uh, you can just click through there. And of course, use this as a resource. If you have any questions about finding a practice or accessing the live class calendar uh, or accessing the challenge, um, just reach out to us. So once you've completed the link today, uh, we'll set you up with an account. You'll be getting a welcome email. I do always like to make a note that please take a look at your promo folders. Sometimes our emails end up in there. We wanna make sure that you have your login instructions. Um, and we'll give you some helpful tools on how to use Studio B. So thank you so much. I will turn it back over. Amazing. Jen, Jofi, Gretchen, so good. Let's give it here for them, team. Studio B, really awesome. Um, okay. okay. I, yeah, I know, right? I love the chat too. Um, Daryl, so sorry, I think you jumped. Daryl, thank you for being on here. We can't wait to see you on September 6th. Okay, sorry. Are you excited? Me. I have Are you in? Meeting. Yes. Are you in, Daryl? Yes, okay, I'm in. okay. I'm in. Awesome, we're sending you the link. Thanks, okay. Daryl, have a good meeting. Thank you. 
Okay, team. Um, we'll go to a little Q and A now because I know we're giving you a lot of um, a lot of intel. Um, but we can start unpacking some of it now. So, um, one of the first questions, as everyone's thinking of their questions for us, though, is that Alex and I, even though she's on mute, want to ask you: Is what's one wellness goal you would like to focus on during this challenge? Put it in the chat. What's one goal? Even if you don't join the challenge, but I'm going to pretend that you are. What's one goal that you would like to focus on for you, for your physical health or mental health or happiness? And it could be something else. Let's see what we get here. Nutrition, Renee, mm, I want to unpack that with you. Karen, reconnection, I love that, yes. Jothi, practice serenity now, <laughs> Why am I laughing for Al? Okay, sorry. I understand. Restorative meditation, Sylvia. Mm. Mm, I can't wait to talk about that more. Healthy, simple meals. Oh, Anne, that'll be so good. We're doing that. Cleansing, Ebony, awesome. I'm a cleanser and I'm green juicing right now. So we can talk more about that. Um, uh, Steve, that's so good. Time to slow down. It's that that pause in the present, right? It's that, that moment. So we're going to work on that a lot. And it will be, I call it Mad Men position, everyone. I lay down on my sofa at like three. Remember in Mad Men, they had a sofa in their office. I do it at three. And that's when I do my meditation. And sometimes I just stare at the white ceiling and I'm like, I'm going to be in Mad Men position right now. And I love that mm. time where my mind can still, I can just chill. I can breathe and find space you know, around me, in me. Um, so we'll, we'll tackle that too. Mindfulness, perfect. The pause in the present. Thanks, Liz. Okay, you guys, questions. What can we unpack for you? Please feel free to raise your hand. Come off mute. Let's make this fun. Alex is raising her hand. What? Yeah, I just, hi, everybody. I don't usually speak up during these things, but I'm just so happy to see you all. Um, I just wanted to take a moment because um, not all of us have a lot of experience being able to prioritize putting ourselves first. <laughs> and that's been my biggest issue. We're all multitasking. We all have healing to do. But to me, this commitment is a gift that I'm giving myself um, to put myself first or at least try, see how that goes. Um, and I just, I, I invite you to give yourself permission to do the same um, because I know how hard it is. So every time I love when you said, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, you know? And whenever you can join us, know that you're gonna get a big hug and a good stretch and um, feel better about putting yourself first. So that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Nice. Anne or Steve, what does this speak to you? I saw Anne, the nutrition too, Steve, <laughs> the mindfulness. Let's unpack some of this because I think this is like what we're all here for. And, and we wanna be sure what you want. We have a lot of surprises. Not only, I wanna actually applaud again, Studio B. They're so amazing. And once you sign up, you'll have between now and September 6th to play in there. Uh, and then beyond on all of the content as you guys all saw. So you'll get just, it's like a playground for you to just start tapping in. And then once we hit September 6th, we've curated it for you so that you don't have to do the work. You can just come and, and be and experience and not think, you know, just enjoy that space for you to Alex's point. But Steve or Anne, one of you wanna share what's coming up for you? Well, you know, it's, um, you know, for me, it's, it's taking that time just to just to slow down. We all have these busy lives. We all have these demanding careers. And I actually thought it would be, I'm like, once I got my kids into college, both my kids are in college now. I thought, oh, here comes my space. Here comes my time. And it just gets filled up with other stuff, right? You know, and so it's not make not prioritizing the time just to be able to let me let me shut things down for just a little bit and focus inward. And, uh, and, you know, for me, that's always been on my list. I need to do more of this. I need to do more meditation. I need to do 
more journaling, just some things to to feed myself. But then, uh, you know, the kids are gone now. I can do this. But, you know, <laughs> uh, other stuff kind of fills in on it. Yeah. Um, what would be your request so that we can help you do that? My my request. So how do I how do I prioritize that time? Right. How do I how 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 can I shift my thinking to to make that because I'll think about it. I'm like, oh, you know, what? I could do that this afternoon. And then we get to the point I'll even, you know, I'll even uh, go on my calendar and um, and and block it out. And we get there and it's like, oh, I've got so much other stuff to do. What, what can I, what can I do to, to, to shift that thinking to make that more of a priority? Okay. Well, journaling will be in, will, when you receive all the emails too, when you sign up everyone, you'll get kind of a list of how to prepare. So journal will be on there because we'll focus on that. Um, I, you know, I'll say without trying to solve it, Steve, just commit <laughs> and say yes, commit yeah. and say yes. And it's 30 days. And I'm, when I shared you, who you will be on the other side of the 30 days, you'll write that story, but we'll help get you there, right? And so if you can commit to these 30 days, and again, we're not meeting week one and week four and five, we'll meet almost every day. The other two weeks, we'll give you the planner and you'll have playtime and you can do it, but we'll help, you know, kind of put the bumper rails for everyone so that you guys, again, there's so much information out there, right? What do you do? What do you, we wanna curate it so that it's simple for you. But if you commit to the 30 days, I think who you are on the other side of it, you'll have different discipline, different consistency, you'll feel different and you'll have a commitment to yourself that you're like, hey, I, for me, Steve, every day at 9 a.m., 9 to 10, I don't do meetings anymore because I have to work out. It's hard right now because I'm really crazy, but but by and large, <laughs> that's my commitment to myself because I know yeah. I'll show up as a better person on you know during the day. So it's we got to just get you to committing to you. And I'll jump in because this just fits so amazingly with what I have going on. In fact, Princess Ayers, who many of you know. And I have been working on goal planning together for a long time. And right now we're using this learn, do, become framework. So I have eight projects. And I, one of those projects <laughs> is healthy habits. And uh, the first mm -hmm. step for me, my first priority is a roadmap. But I'm sort of like, you know, creating that road. But what we just talked about in the 30-day framework is going to be that roadmap. So that's perfect. Um, and then it's, you know, repeatable, healthy, delicious meal plans and shopping lists, which I mentioned, daily habits are incorporated in my schedule. Like I need to set up those habits for both the eating, for the yoga practice. I mean, I move every day, but I'm not uh, doing the yoga, which I want in there. And um, the meditation, which I'm so I, like, there's my classes right there. <laughs> so true. I don't have to leave my my little trailer. So I'm excited. <laughs> Thank you. And I love it. Week four, Fusion Week, everyone. We're going to be working with you because right every week's building. Week four, Fusion, where we're integrating, we're going to help you build your best day. So like um, everything from sleep through your best day, we're going to help you map that out. So that kind of, and to your point, you, you just, you know, and you probably know, but when we don't kind of commit to it, it's hard to, to keep that rhythm. Right. So we will focus on um, building your best day so that when you leave the 30 day challenge, you kind of, you have your new rhythm set, your personal blueprint. So that's a perfect call out. And so, you know, so important right now, because as you and Marie know, I'm, in the process of a huge venture and I need <laughs> to take care of me. So I have the energy yes. to do this it's a really big time. Yes. So thank you. Yeah. So I want to, I want to hear from, um, and make sure we all recognize Sylvia Peterson as well. She Yay. is a happiness coach. And at some point we're going to get her integrated into our um, project as well. And I, I just would love to hear from you, Sylvia, on how this sits with you and and how it maybe fits with how you you take clients through. Yeah, I love this. You know, I do. It's interesting to hear people talk about they don't have time for self care and yes, 
Um, I'm the polar opposite. Like I spend a lot of time in self care. And, um, and so I'm just super excited to bring all this to people. And I think that, you know, for me, I think about it as I, you know, I want to be the best person, become the best person I can become. And to do that, I have to be really healthy because I show then show up in the best way. And, and as we age, you know, energy becomes like the, the most important currency. And, and really, energy comes from all of these practices, from rest, you know, from good sleep, from good nutrition, from good movement, from good relationships. So I'm just super excited. Thank you. That's great. And I know Ebony. Renee and Ebony. Yeah, Renee and Ebony had nutrition yeah. and cleansing. Let's talk. Let's talk that. Um. So, I, I echo plus one everything that everybody said, but I think <laughs> where I'm struggling is, um, I'm not taking the time to like really care for myself. So now I'm extremely tired. I'm not resting. Um, I used to be very health conscious, run, do something every day. Like I'm just not as active or mobile as I used to be. My body is kind of like telling me, girl, like, come on, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Um, but I'm always finding excuses or like, there's not enough time in the day and there's this and there's that. And so I feel like I need just kind of like a, a re like a refresh, a start over, like a, you know, and I feel like this will help me get there to where I'm more motivated because I, I used to be that person. And I don't, I think this kind of, and everybody can probably relate to this. Once COVID happened, I got extremely lazy. Like it was just like, okay. Um, and then towards the end of it, I got back into it and then, you know, work you know, changed. And now everybody like is going back into offices and all this good stuff. And I'm just like, I don't have any time. So I feel like I just need like a rebirth of some sort. And I think it just mm -hmm. starts from like cleansing the whole body, the mind, everything, um and then building back the you know the necessities and the rigor to do the things that I used to do like every single day mm. Good. awesome awesome well hopefully you know uh this challenge will help you with that and Alex said it again too in the chat reset you know and um it'll be step by step right each week you'll get a little more to build on that but our goal again is not to immerse you guys in so much content. It's to give you these steps so that you can create those new habits that work for you. So um, definitely nutrition, no problem, movement, the 7 a.m. start time again. Sounds early, but uh, I'm excited to see how you all feel. Yeah, later in the afternoon. Renee, it's 7 nutrition. Pacific, right? I'm sorry. Seven it was 7. Okay, so that's not bad. It's nine o'clock. You can do it. <laughs> I can do it. It's good. It's good. Uh, Renee, talk to us about nutrition for you. Please. Sure. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, I'm super excited to participate in this. So um, and kind of back in action, I uh, left my position at Amazon after five years in January and kind of took some time to myself. So I'm kind of feeling like I have been resetting. I've been taking some time to myself and figuring out, you know, what's the right next thing for me. Um, but I think the, the biggest piece that's lacking for me is like really good, healthy habits versus what's easy. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'll get in spurts where I just make vegan soups for my lunches every day. That's great. But then I'm eating potato chips with it and a snack at 2 PM. Cause I'm bored, you know, so I, I need that reset to like, how do I remember that the healthy options are actually more desirable than, um, you know, the potato chips or the, the, <laughs> the quick snack and all that good stuff. So I love um, chips. So I hear you. Yeah, I um, well, that will be good. You know, start part of like your, like building your best day when we get to that week four might be more around food prepping on Sundays, right? Like, integrating some of these pieces, understanding your macros a little bit more so that you're like, okay, I don't really like just some, whatever it is that will work for you, but that might be mm -hmm. more of what your focus is since you're already, mm -hmm. you know, working forward on a lot of the other parts of reset for you. 
So it'll be really well, I cool. I need those too. I'm excited about the yin yoga and, um, you know, a oh, lot of things. Good. That maybe I, I, my gym closed during the pandemic. So we've just been kind of like <laughs> going on a walk every morning and doing, you know, some random stuff. So it'll be good to get back into that too. Awesome. Karen, or, um, Marie, before we jump, I wanted to just ask Robin, anything that speaks to you in this, anything that you're afraid of in this? <laughs> I, fear was another thing. We were afraid people might not like the 7 a.m. or like the yoga, but what can we, what's uh, coming up for you? No, nothing, nothing frightens me. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I, I love it. Seven o'clock isn't my favorite time, but that makes sense for the goals. Um, me personally, I have to figure out how it fits in so, to some, I'm going to be out of town. Um, on an extended vacation. So I'm just trying to figure out how to fit that in. I've done challenges like this before and I think they're a good um, reset. So I don't have any questions. I'm a little bit, I'll just say it. Uh, um, there is uh, no offense to Steve, but um, we're kind of heavy women here. We're well, not heavy women, but we're heavy on the <laughs> women um, side. So, um, you know, it'd be, it'd be good to kind of think about how to make this less chick friendly or more male in the, um, it's kind of, I don't want to go down gender typing roles, but it, it seems, I'm trying to figure out how we can make this less gender typing to get more men in, in, included. Um, that's where my head was. That's my fear is this has become a chick thing. Well, a great, <laughs> well, we're going to put Steve in charge She's of representing though. You're doing it well. <laughs> Daryl. Daryl is representing strong. Daryl. He always represents. Marie, can we go to the next slide real quick? Because this is a perfect, um, perfect parlay into our alumni actions. Um, yeah. So um, first and foremost, um, she's going to pull it up. We are going to put the link to sign up in the chat right now uh, so that you can be the early bird sign uppers. Um, so that is coming hot and heavy into you. Again, you'll sign up, you'll receive your confirmation, and then it's a playground for you to play till the sixth. Um, second uh, is invite a friend, uh, invite an alumni friend, that is. So, you know, we, we all know that accountability buddies are helpful, um, but also we need more men, Steve. So send out your bat signal. Um, we will have something, it's not made, it's not made for, uh, for females only. So please do invite a friend. Um, this will be a really exciting journey. I really can promise you that. And um, you'll get out of it what you put into it as they always say, but we promise to make it um, really fun. Uh, mark your calendars, please, September 6th. Again, um, we'll send the one pager, Alex and Courtney will send that out via the comms so that you can see the dates already, one we're full week, one we're just two days a week for Monday inspiration, Wednesday workshop, even on those two weeks where we're just two days, it will still be at the 7 a.m. slot. And if you haven't taken the flourishing assessment, um, we're gonna drop that link in the chat now too. Um, please do take that. This is a, I mean, how many of you have not taken it here? Raise your hand. Steve, just the guy. Okay, cool, just kidding. <laughs> You. Um, th what this will do, it will give you just kind of a good inventory of where you're at. It asks questions that will just put you in this mindset and, and start going. So it'll, it'll be a good inventory. Um, and similar to all that we do with Starbucks and our own development, it's another tool to help us learn how to show up as our best self. So um, yes, those are our key actions. Please sign up. Please tell a friend. Please mark your calendars. And uh, Steve, take that assessment. That is any. All right. So, yeah, just thank you so much to yeah. uh, Colleen. I, I wish I could um, share with each of you the amount of energy and mental fortitude that Colleen has had in building this for everyone. She's been extraordinarily empathetic and appreciative of each of you and how you might um, interpret this information and, and go through this challenge. So she's been very, very awesome at pulling this together. And then equally, you know, I just want to give a shout out to, to Studio B too, that, um, you know, you guys just really heard us and came to the table with such a huge, huge solution. And as each of you are starting to just see just a tiny peek of 
um, their resources are in depth and they're very broad and they're diverse and they're, they're, they're for everyone. I've never been a yoga person in my life. I've never been in, you know, thought about any of this stuff. And it's just overwhelming how awesome their resources are and how digestible and how, um, for me it all is so I, if it if it works for me it's got to be awesome for each of you so i'm really excited that you're here and you know in the spirit of why we're here as a community and and why we're here um you know this is a sampling of the people who have raised interest and suggested coming so it's summer it's holiday time people are trying to get those last little bits of time with each other uh, this information and so much more will be packaged up and shared with uh, all of you and through our normal green apron alliance channels but as we've been mentioning this is for starbucks alumni so if you have a friend out there who you want to tag along with you on this journey, if you see someone that's not here that should be here, this is your opportunity to invite them into something really special, really unique, something really cool. And you know what? It's this is because of you for all of us. So we we are here to help each other be our greatest good. And this is just step one. So Look forward to seeing all of you uh, September 6th, if not sooner. And to each of you, namaste and have a great evening. So fancy, Marie. <laughs> Bye, friends. Practice. I Thanks practice. Thanks, everyone. Bye, guys. You did. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you guys Yay. soon.